side mass, which is a Chinese equivalent. I have, I have Parkinson's, came down with it 10 years ago. Normally, because of Parkinson's, when I walk, I walk funny, you know, and I have a, like a, a palsy in my upper extremities. But when I ride a bike, I'm just like everybody else. I can ride a bike better than I can walk, believe it or not. I've never taken a bike class, never taken a, I have no, I have no diplomas, anything like that. I have no certificates. It's just, I just do bikes. You know, I always have. I have bikes throughout my house and there, there's a bike in my, there's a bike in my bedroom. And, uh, you know, the kitchen's not sacred. I, the kitchen table is not sacred. You know, I have, I have places to repair the bike in, in the garage, you know, but I repair bikes in the kitchen too. Yeah, the, the nickname started, but it's actually, it started by a friend of mine. He always saw me wherever I went, I was always riding my bike wherever I went and, and for years, you know, this is like 20, 20 years ago or so, 25 years ago, but he, he said to me, he goes, what's up, Bicycle Ray? And uh, that stuck. first bike that I ever fixed was a bike that I found in a field a block, about two blocks this way. I was 12 years old and I found this beat up bike and uh, I fixed the wheel and some other stuff to it and I, I was really proud of it. And my first bicycle race was right in front of this place right here in like 77, I think it was, yeah, 78, right here, right in front of this building. While I was working in this bike shop, you know, I had this idea that I wanted to start a business. I'd call it Bicycle Ray, Bicycle Ray Mobile Repair. So uh, I started do, working out of the trunk of my car, fixing people's bikes, you know. It got to be so busy, like, I was like, I just, I had to choose, you know, I had to choose between the mobile repair and the bike project. I decided to stick with the bike project because I like the philosophy of the bike project. Uh, I was interested in the bike project in, in, in 2006 when, when it was first started. I think the biggest impact is the number of bikes that we've recycled. Um, it's sort of, um, you know, it's sort of like the most obvious thing to mention, but it really is like the biggest impact is just that, um, you know, it's been estimated we've probably recycled 20,000 bikes at this point um, over 14 years. And so that's 20,000 bikes that are available to people in Reno at affordable prices. And one of the like, m you know, closest to my heart programs we have is called Biggest Little Commuter Program. And we subsidize the cost of a bike and a lock for low-income commuters in Reno. Um, and it's for folks 
earning $20,000 or less a year. Um, and we recently worked with an individual who um, was recovering from a heroin addiction and who had experienced human trafficking as a child. Um, and she has some children and working, and she's said already that the bike just provides her an opportunity to feel joy and to have, um, you know, positive, um, physical and mental escape from um, you know all of the responsibilities that she has. Um, so there's there's that kind of impact, but we've also had folks go through the BLCP, the Biggest Little Commuter Program, who have gotten job opportunities because of riding around town on their bikes. So the opportunity for economic advancement is great when it comes to um, empowering uh, low-income people through bike ownership. My name is Noah Chubb Silverman. I'm the co-founder of the Reno Bike Project. Uh, we started this October 1st, 2006. We started this in our friend's basement um, and just collecting bikes and we've moved. We've had four different locations and um, as you can imagine, a lot of staff that have come through and a lot of volunteers, so a lot happens in 14 years. So I think the, the main, one of the main ideas behind the bike project and our culture is really community. Whether it's events or whether it's getting people into the shop to help them fix their own bike. A lot, we, we've always called ourselves a community bike shop for that reason. We offer a, a shop where anyone can come in. We also provide bikes to those in need as well as mechanic instruction classes, so teaching people how to fix their own bike. My coworkers here have made me feel so incredibly like welcome and, and like I'm part of something, like I belong here. We provide the knowledge and the support needed to make those repairs. Sometimes, you know, when folks don't even know how to take the wheel off their bike, um, we, we will start, you know, with that most basic thing. Um, and that education component is what really sets us apart from other shops. It's what makes the bike project so unique and such a wonderful place to be and to work. I'd say our big future goals is to keep this shop operating and keep an affordable resource for the community because it, it is so heavily utilized. We estimate around 10,000 people come in our shop every year. So those, those are all people that are getting something that they might not be able to get somewhere else. Especially in cases where they wouldn't be able to, they can't afford a car or a bus pass. This provides a, a gap that is critical to a lot of people. So bike culture means there's gonna be aspects uh, of your life that revolve around um, bicycles. Uh, it's what you value, and so you value um, not only maybe places to ride, but seeing other bicycle riders. Um, I mean, I'd like to think that my neighborhood is better if I see people riding their bikes, if I see families out riding their bikes. Bike culture is, is uh, people that are consumed by bikes, you know, like in some way, like, not necessarily, necessarily not, not fanatical, but, you know, a bike is part of their life. I believe that, you know, I'm bi culture, you know, not to sound arrogant, you know, but I believe that I am because it's just what I love to do. I think bike culture shows a little bit of extra care. I think that, um, especially the, the Reno bike culture is about um, doing something yourself. Um, it's about um, investing in something that takes work, but that um, gives back to you in immeasurable ways. But beyond that, it's also just about like, care for the community. You know, when you choose to ride a bike, you're choosing to do something that's healthy for you, that's better for the environment, that reminds drivers to slow down and be safe in neighborhoods. Bike culture in Reno, um, to me at least, is kind of hard to separate from um, some of the youth culture coming out of the university. Uh, currently, it means freedom. Um, cycling is, one, when I'm on my bike, is one of the only times that I am not overthinking everything. 
Well, it's a lot of things. It's it's an activity. It's a trans. It's transportation. It's um, a movement. It's an you know. It's an idea. So along all the, there's a, there's a lot of aspects depending on if I'm want to just go have fun or if I want to go somewhere or if I want to make a statement. I can do all those. What's my favorite part of being a part of a biking community? Uh, I just love, I like the people. People are like. You know, it's, it's about people mainly, you know. You know, I think people that are passionate about cycling and about biking, they have a certain th thought process that I, that I just enjoy being around. You know, they're like me. And uh, they, they get it. They understand the, the joy of a bike. And I broke my arm. <laughs> yeah, that's what I remember. And I had to like throw it on top of my bike and like push myself home. I think I was like four years old. That's not a good one. It was a terrible person. I'm surprised you didn't ride a bike. I still, I fuck myself up every day to this day. Can I cast? Is that okay? As soon as I learned how to jump, I, I wanted to do like tricks and stuff. And I remember getting in trouble because I, I jumped over one of the neighborhood kids and, like <laughs> as a stunt. And <laughs> Didn't, uh, mom did not approve, let's say. <laughs> um, my father was doing long, like, double century rides and stuff all through the through my childhood. So that was kind of our connection. Uh, we would ride bikes together. Yeah, um, so I, I kind of got the idea from when I moved down to Long Beach. Uh, a couple of one of my buddies, uh, they did a weekly bike ride every Wednesday. They called it the Hump Day Special. And I didn't know anyone when I moved there. It was just kind of, I just kind of went down there. Um, and they, they rode every Wednesday, and uh, I started talking to one of the guys. They're like, yeah, come come out for the ride. And that's pretty much how I met all a bunch of people, and like great people, and like started uh, getting into the biking community down in Long Beach. And uh, yeah, kind of came up with the idea to start at one in Reno because of that. Yeah, I think we were, we've all been a part of group rides at some point. And we wanted to do with our buddies. So we started it and welcomed yeah. everyone to come. As soon as we started, we knew, uh, rather, as soon as it started to grow, um, we knew that we needed to like have some sort of uh, foundation. So we started doing a test ride the night before. That way we can um, leave the same time, see what the traffic patterns are like, and make sure uh, everyone's safe in that sense. But then also while we are riding, um, we'll generally have one of us, uh, one of the three of us lead. Um, someone in the back, usually Perry, uh, he's got a bike pump, a bunch of uh, like fix a flat stuff like that in case anyone does get a flat. Um, and that way we can maintain uh, communication the whole time. Um, if I feel like we're getting ahead, I can call Perry, ask him how's the back of the groups going and you know keep yeah. everyone together, make sure no one gets lost throughout the ride. Um, so I saw that as a potential uh, issue or challenge right off the bat and I think we've done a good job of kind of yeah, yeah, I definitely yeah. that out. Definitely. Yeah, I think my favorite thing about bike night is probably pretty much yeah community meeting new friends for like no doubt about that. And then I think just the excitement for some of the new people that like haven't been on group rides or like haven't really experienced like that kind of environment of like all all these bikes pretty much just taking over the streets and, and ride into like new locations. I really get like I feel some I don't know. It's exciting to like share that um, I don't know kind of excitement of riding together on bikes, it's really cool and special, so I, yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah. Uh, now my favorite thing about uh, running and being a part of Reno Bike Night is uh, just seeing how many great people come out. Um, if someone gets a flat, it's not like Perry, it's all on him to fix it. Like, people that have the knowledge are willing to share, and yeah. so... It's like hop in, like start fixing bikes. Exactly. And... Yeah, everyone's looking out for one another, everyone's just trying to have a good time, and I think it's been really successful at uh, accomplishing those. I think everyone should go to bike. <laughs> Every... At least try it. At least experience yeah. it. Everyone yeah. go, give it a shot. Like they I said, like there's so it. many people there's watching no, out for you. There's no pressure, and there's like a nice sense of community, which is really refreshing, and I like that about it. Yeah, that. I think that's Very. perfect. Get a bike, tall, small. Get, come on out. <laughs> Ride.
<laughs> all bikes, all bikes, mountain bikes, all bikes, all bikes, and uh, yeah. I want to put it on shit. All bikes, all bikes. All bikes, all bikes. <laughs>I come here um, just because I love riding bikes. It's what I do with most of my free time. I either like work on bikes or ride them. And like I found this community and it's great. Um, generally what I look forward to every week is coming here. I think you know, Reno's kind of a small city, almost a large town. Uh, but some event like this, it just it makes it a little bit more personal. Uh, yeah, it's, just, it's a great way to bring community together. Cycling is important to me because it's it's uh, like freedom. It's you know we go to beautiful places every time we see seeing things that I've never seen. I've lived here my whole life and I see things that are new and exciting, and uh, get some cardio in there. You know I think Reno Bike Night is important because it's bringing the community together. It's bringing like-minded people and even strangers, and it's cool just to like mix the cultures, especially meeting here at the flat spot. It's just, it's all good vibes, everybody's chilling. And honestly, as long as you're out there riding, like you're in the bike culture, like you're out here in the city doing it.
it's intangible. I, I think it's, it's just a great place to live a ride, you know. Oh, I'm so sorry, bro. You're good, man. I did not oh. see you, dude. Oh, you're totally good. Oh, did I hit your camera? Oh, nice, man. Did I, is it okay? I don't know. We'll find out. I think I saved it. You saved it. Okay. Dude, it's, it's still something? recording, man. No, I, I'm like, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already looking at your camera, dude. Are you shot? I think so, yeah. Are you, are you okay? Yeah, are you I'm able to record? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit, that was dark. <laughs> Sorry, I no, I yeah, I totally thought I was good. I didn't expect people to come on this side. Is it aiming okay? It's still rolling. Is it zoom? Fuck! I was out of nowhere. <laughs>